So. Ah! Oh, what the? I have two companions I'd like to travel with today. Here's one of them. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Do it again. Do it again. I thought you might get a kick out of that. Not a literal one, of course, but I thought you might enjoy that. <laughs> makes me feel bad now. We'll never do it again. I'm not doing that one again. Has your high-powered magnet picked up anything today? Oh my god, he dances. <laughs> Scissors! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy chicken. That's not going to make the cut. Oh my god. Really, the magnet hinged on finding those scissors. I got scissors have a hinge. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. I I love Buddy Chicken. <laughs> Buddy Chicken is my new absolute fa- Oh, I didn't mean to grab him. I love Buddy Chicken. He's my absolute favorite. I I love Buddy Chicken so much. <laughs> All right. Buddy Chicken is great. All right, what are we what are we doing? Oh, you said we have two. Where's the other one? In Good Springs. Oh, in Good Springs. I know the companion that I want to go <laughs> left for bread. <laughs> what? Get fucked. Rude. <laughs> is Bunny Chicken okay? All right, Bunny Chicken looks fine. Are my testicles in one piece? No, they're, they're supposed to be in two pieces. Have they fused together? Billy's log six. Okay, so I found a closet full of well toasters. Ooh. Some sick fuck gave them all memory capacitors and voice modules, <laughs> so they won't shut the fuck up. All of them can only say one thing. And it's extremely redundant. With that, holotapes seem to fit quite well in their bread slots. <laughs> so I'll be using them as drop boxes for external storage purposes. Right. <laughs> oh. I, for some reason, it was. <laughs> I saw that, yeah. That was weird. That was that was weird. All right. Uh, buddy, is Buddy Chicken coming with See us? Around. Yes! Yes. Oh my god. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. Axe Man, this is gonna be a problem. Because now all I want to do is watch Buddy Chicken as I walk down the roads. <laughs> so now this has turned into a challenge run of can you beat Fallout New Vegas by only walking backwards? <laughs> I love Buddy Chicken. I love Buddy Chicken so much! I, I can tell, yes. I, oh my god. Okay, so I want to get a chicken body and put it on one of my RC cars. Oh. That would be. <laughs> Yeah, I can see you have a lot of fun with that. I'm, I'm just imagining putting just like, it's a very obvious plastic chicken. I can put a duck decoy. I can put a, a goose decoy on my own. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have to do this now. I have to get an RC car and put a goose decoy body on it. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> High bar now, huh? This is, like, this is the best mod. This is the best mod I've ever seen. I love buddy what? chicken. Seven years of mods and this is the best one, huh? Yup. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I want to hear him. <laughs> He sounds like he's trying to play King's Quest 3. Uh, it's great! <laughs> Say they're inside this building, huh? Indeed. Mm. Or at least they should be. Oh. Hey, what are you doing here? I uh, never mind, I'm leaving. Nice tribal tattoos, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a recovering gunshot victim with a raging headache. Who are you? I'm Delilah, and this is my place. I don't normally take too kindly to strangers barging in on me but I happen to have helped the doc save you. Did you now? And we're only just now hearing about that. I, for the first time ever, <laughs> it was very rude of Doc Mitchell never to bring it up. So what do you do here? Mainly, I help Doc Mitchell around the clinic. I'm going to be a doctor one day. I think I'll need more experience than what he can show me here. You might want to tidy up his place. So you like it here? Ever since I lost Uncle Sulik, it hasn't really been the same. Who? I think I need to strike out and find my own destiny. Let me guess, you want to travel with us. Wait, who's Uncle Sulik? Uncle Sulik is like my dad's brother, but not really. See, dad was raised near tribals in California and had a close relationship with them. When dad met mom, they decided to come make a life for themselves in the Mojave. Uncle Sulik came with them to protect my parents. Oh, third wheel, great. Something about being bound to him. Sulik treated me just like family, though and taught me a lot of tribal medicine. A little bit of menage a trois, hmm? You with the uncle? That's what it sounds like. Well, she said it was, it was 
Uncle Sulik was like her dad's brother, but not ah, really. I see. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those anime subplots of <laughs> uh, it's they're, they're siblings, but not really. I see. Yeah, I fucking hate that subplot. <laughs> They even fucking put it in Valkyria Chronicles. This is his sister, but not really his sister. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. You want to make fan art of them? No, I don't. Better hurry up with that fan art. Asara's about to die. <laughs> uh, so you're a doctor, huh? I'm going to be. I helped Doc Mitchell out, and Sulek taught me some tribal methods. But I will be a doctor one day. Very determined. I mean, I read a medical textbook once, which makes me a doctor in Louisiana. And I have a bachelor's degree in allied health science I've never used. Yeah, exactly. So you're tribal, huh? Uncle Sulek taught me a lot about the ways of his people, and I admire them in a lot of ways. Stop scratching your butt. I don't consider myself a tribal, though. Then why'd you get a tribal tattoo? That seems like cultural appropriation. <laughs> what kind of things did he teach you? I guess the most useful thing he taught me about was tribal medicine. He taught me to fight with sticks, but mainly, he was just Uncle Sulek. Sticks, huh? The spear was the deadliest weapon for a long, long time. Yeah, because it's it's very simple. It's You take pointy end and pu push pointy end towards bad guy. But no one uses spears anymore. That's ridiculous. What happened to your mom? Mitchell's autodoc said pancreatic cancer. Mitchell has an autodoc? I'd rather really not talk about that, if you don't mind. I appreciate the fact that your mom wasn't killed by raiders. We don't know what the alignment of that cancer was. Maybe the, can maybe the pancreatic cancer was a raider. A pancreatic jackal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from California, huh? My parents were from California. They came all the way to Good Springs in search of their own little piece of heaven. I was born here. I'm not from California. My parents were from California. What happened to your dad? Rad scorpions. He was coming back from a trading run, and he must have walked into a nest of the big fuckers. There were a lot of them up north. Sulek searched for him when he didn't come back on schedule, but he found him too late. The poison had run its course. Her parents weren't killed by raiders and raiders, respectively. Quite the anomaly. What the hell is the clearing? It's something Uncle Sulek used to say. Instead of dying, when we all leave this life, we meet those we loved at the clearing at the end of the path. Ah. I like it. I think it adds some dignity to death. Do you want to follow us? <laughs> I don't really know you well enough. Sorry. I guess we have to tell her stuff about ourselves. Uh, what have we done? Your tribal tattoos are very silly. Why do you have the hentai succubus tattoo? A tramp stamp, but on the front? Y yeah, yeah, it's, it's suc succubuses and hentai always have that. Uh, I'm not sure if it's called don't, a succubus. Don't, don't ask me how I know what it, don't, don't ask me how I know. It's fine, we're disregarding that. Okay. I wanna know why she, that's not what we're talking about right now. All right. Yes, I read hentai. <laughs> why does she have that tattoo though? I don't know, let's go read your hentai books and find out. Forget to be request. I want to look at porn. <laughs> we went to the UK. We uh, sent some ghouls to space, maybe. We have killed so many children. Don't say that. <laughs> it's true, though. That shouldn't be the opening argument. We went to the frontier. Uh, oh, yeah. We did that for a whole year. Yeah, that that went on for a bit too long for my tastes. Man, can you believe that? We only got a limited amount of time on this world, and we spent an entire year in the frontier. <laughs> <sighs> Try not to think about it in that way. <laughs> it's fine. I spent over a year in Iraq, so whatever. It doesn't matter. Hey, would you like to come with me? I could use someone with your medical experience, apparently. I'd love to. I think this is exactly the opportunity I've been waiting for. Let me grab my things. No, I don't want to travel with you. Would you like to travel with me? You have medical experience. Yes. Let me take off my underwear. <laughs> Didn't go that far. <laughs> Delilah has given you a holotape containing some words and sounds used by braves from the crag to communicate with one another over long distances or in combat. Your pit boy is a suitable amplification device. You can summon Delilah now. That's, that's a stretch, but all right. So that was your entire life story. You leave anything out? I forgot to mention, I'll be able to help you out with your medical chems. I know some tricks I can show you to make them last longer. Great. I can also make a couple of tribal remedies if you need them. I guess that'll come in handy, maybe. Let's get going. Okay. All right, away we go. Oh, she's got armor now. Nice. You know, you remind me of a young Ernest Hemingway sometimes. And then I'm going to eventually shoot myself with a 12-gauge? In what way? Jeez, <laughs> oh, <geez>. dark. <laughs> <laughs> I did not drive an ambulance during the First World War. Is that what Hemingway did? Yes, Hemingway was an ambulance driver in the First World War. Obscure fact I didn't know about. 
What kind of weapons can you use? I'm decent with handguns, and I certainly swing a bat pretty well. I prefer not fighting to fighting, though. Just so you know. You are not gonna be happy I'll with I'll try us. anything out, but I've never really been known for taking a lot of punishment. I'm delicate. Sunny calls me Powderpuff. I don't think Sunny knows who you are, but it's fine. <laughs> I'd like to learn more advanced medicine. I've learned a lot from Sulek and Doc Mitchell, but I'm ready to learn even more. I also love to read. It's my dad's legacy to me. We always read together, and he had this list of books he wanted to find. Hopefully we can find some of them out there. Keep your eyes peeled for me. Yeah, sure. We'll do, where, wait, where should I look for books? I'm not really sure. I was just kind of hoping to stumble across them. Junk vendors, old people. Maybe the followers have a library? I don't know. They don't really have a library. I know that's not much help, but I'm sure we'll find something. You would think they would, Let's though. not make that top priority. I think I did hear something about a library opening in Novak. Ooh, where can we get you some medical training? The old Mormon fort and the New Vegas Medical Clinic will almost certainly have someone on staff who can give me some pointers and basic tips. I'm a really fast learner, so maybe visiting doctors around the Mojave would be our best bet? I can probably pick up some tricks pretty quickly. And of course, they're doctors. There will probably be some kind of bill involved. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Well, I'm not paying for it. And steal these gold bars from the Sierra Madre for other people. You know, I do have some medical training. I could give you a crash course if you want. All right, I'm ready. The knee bone's connected to the thigh bone. Oh, I get it. Thanks. That's going to come in handy. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go do stuff now. I heard there are rad scorpions that can get as big as a trailer. Ew. That gives me the creeps just thinking of it. Let's see, where is the nearest doctor we could talk to? Uh, well, there's not one at the Mojave Outpost, which is a bit problematic. You would think that the Mojave Outpost would have a doctor. You can't shoot these birds, apparently. Or maybe I'm just not leading them enough. It's Darwinism. All the birds that were susceptible to buckshot died out, leaving only the ones with the resistance. That's why Buddy Chicken's made of metal! That, that's the reason, yes. <laughs> Let's go... Uh, why don't we go to... Yeah, there's a person in Hidden Valley, uh, a doctor. There's nobody in Hidden Valley. What? There's no one in Hidden Valley anymore. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back to that one later. She has cured me of radiation poisoning once. Hey. What can I do for you? Cure me of radiation poisoning. No, uh, this is Ada. Uh, wait, no, Ada. I'm sorry. I'm having a really bad ADHD <laughs> moment. I'm sorry. Uh, help person. She agrees to do it for 500 caps. <laughs> what the fuck was that? She didn't have dialogue, so I had to be My the narrator. God. <laughs> but 500 caps. <clears throat> uh, all right, yeah. You know what, now how about 250? She acknowledges that more doctors are always needed and agrees to help you for a cheaper price of 250 caps. Great! Hooray! We saved a bit of money! Yay! We saved money! Oh no, an eclipse! Oh, uh, it, it was okay. Oh, it, well, the <laughs> eclipse went away already. I want to see the eclipse. Don't stare directly out of the side, Hang please! On, I, I, got, I got something for this. You're supposed to put a pinhole in a plate, right? Yeah, something like that, you yeah. Put a pinhole in a plate? Well, this has a pinhole Come in it. On, there we go. Focus into your iris! <laughs> Man, that's a really pretty eclipse. <laughs> I love Funny Chicken so much, he makes me so happy. <laughs> oh, can you see him? He got blinded? What? <laughs> and, and Jeff, apparently? It, it affected my hearing. Okay. Kent McCarran! Oh yeah, there's a doctor Kent McCarran. Apparently, is there? Okay. Maybe in the concourse. Oh, let's see if the Cinnabon is open. Or how about that pizza place that's always in the airports? Sabaro? Oh, uh, yeah, Sabaro. Do you know I've actually eaten at the Sabaro not at an airport? Can you believe it? <laughs> I can. Can you believe it? However, it was at a highway rest stop, so pretty much the same thing. <laughs> hey, here's the doctor. Thanks for handling the fiends. One less pack of dogs to hurt the troops. Exactly. Could you help my friend Delilah with her medical training? He appears hesitant. But why? This is Delilah. She's been nervous. Doc Mitchell said I'm slow. He takes pity on you and agrees to teach her a few useful tricks. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. Whoa, what happened? You, wow, you have his... Hang on. Oh, oh, this poor doctor has as little of a chin as I do. He's also a little shorter than most people. He is. Look at how... Look at, look at the absolute lack of a chin. Oh my god, you poor man. You put grow some facial hair! You two should start a support group. <laughs> <laughs> this is, that's why I have facial hair, because otherwise I don't have a chin. 
Oh, you poor, poor man. <laughs> Here you go. Buy yourself a... N go to the New Vegas Medical Clinic and buy yourself a new chin. Next is... The New Vegas Medical Clinic. Makes sense. <laughs> what about those things over there? The medical clinic's under attack. Oh, definitely don't want to just blow them up. Um, hello? Yeah. Oh my god, she made a... The moment the gunfire started, she makes a beeline. I... You are so fucking lucky I didn't shoot you. The... The moment gunfire starts, she sees people shooting and makes a beeline for them with the angriest look on her face. <laughs> you are so lucky I didn't just unload this revolver into you. What the fuck is that thing? <laughs> It's a, it's a chicken toy. You ain't ever seen them before? Yeah, what? You've never... Oh, you're looking at it like you've never seen a chicken toy before. Watch this. Watch what you can do. <laughs> Dance! <laughs> oh my god, this is the closest thing to entertainment I've seen in years. <laughs> Dr. Usanagi! You're back. Do you need medical attention? Uh, my friend Delilah is trying to learn as much as she can about medicine. Could you help her? She acknowledges your positive reputation and clears her schedule to teach Delilah. Hooray! D Delilah, you better learn good. Okay, I get it now. Transfusions are easier than I thought. Thanks, Doctor. This will really come in handy. The You hook the red lead up to the red terminal and the black lead up to the black terminal. <laughs> better make sure those electrical currents are the same blood type. Whoops! Different thing! I missed this game. <laughs> It's, I'm trying to sell a freaking digital camera on this guy, and it's, like, it's just been up here. Hey, a toaster! Hey! We toast in the city? Get fart. Get fart! Came in the office today, quite puzzled at the fact that our early model sentry bot roaming the hallways with a mop attached to his arm. I didn't know what to make of it. Surely it was some kind of joke. After asking a receptionist about the strange machine, she informed me it's one of Dr. Hopper's morbid curiosities. I went to Dr. Hopper's office and he said the sentry bot was an anomaly, like nothing he's ever seen. Apparently he found the thing among the shipment of decommissioned sentry bots I gave him from the Mojave when he went... When he activated the thing, it went ape shit and trashed his workshop. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Fortunately, its weapon systems are broken, so he was able to deactivate it. He claimed after further inspection, the robot was built unusually, nowhere close to matching Robco's standard sentry bot blueprint. Some of us are tinkered with it before it was sent to us. Anyway, he didn't want it scrapped, so he repurposed it as a janitor for the time being. The Mr. Gutsies don't much appreciate him doing his... Their job, but worse. <laughs> Try to reprogram a sentry bot for janitorial work. Nice. Yeah. Oh, Delilah has a book of a list uh, of books she wants. She wants to... Paradise Lost. Okay. Catcher in the Rye. Pretentious. On the Road by Jack Kerouac. Pretentious. Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. Good book. Canterbury Tales by Jeffrey Chaucer. Eh. Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. Pretentious. Is it? I have not read that one. It's uh, it's not really pretentious. It's to be fair, I haven't read any of these. I am not very well versed in books. Grey's Anatomy, Flowers for Algeron, and Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas by Hunter S. Thompson. Kind of hard to read. Boy, they've really done some work in the slums, in the sense that there are more of them now. While we're here at the Followers, we probably should talk to that one person that the old guy wanted us to talk to, you know. Before uh, he got arrested, he said, Hey, go talk to this lady. Oh, yeah, her, this lady. Hey. Jackie. Hello again. How can I help you? Um, yeah, Hosea surrendered to the NCR. He told me to give you this letter. Wait. Hosea surrendered? Yep. That letter. Show it to me, please. I, I just gave it to you. Read it and weep! <laughs> that corny old bastard. The same as he was the day he'd left. Uh-huh. I'd do anything to see that crooked smile on his face one more time. You can go visit him in jail. Thank you for bringing me this. I assume you were the one that convinced him to turn himself in? Nope, wasn't me. You did the right thing. Hosea went down a dark path, one that's hard to claw your way back from. You stopped him before it was too late, and I'd like to thank you for that. Although I really wish I could have said goodbye one last time. Again. Conjugal visit. I'll have to ask Julie for some time away from the fort. Shady Sands is a long way from here. I want you to have this vintage whiskey. One of my patients brought it to me. Oh, damn. <laughs> he wanted me to have it because he didn't trust himself with it, the poor soul. I don't really like whiskey so much, so I thought you might like it. I... If you don't, then I'm sure you could get a fair price for it. 
Great, thank you. I should get going. Just let me know if you ever need to chat. Hey, buddy chicken. Buddy chicken. <laughs> Give it some whiskey. Buddy chicken. <laughs> Have some whiskey! <laughs> Is he slurring his beeps? <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. All right, where is the doctor we're talking to in here? Uh, Julie Farkas, I believe. Probably. Isn't she dead, though? Probably in bed, because it's like 4 p.m. Oh, hey, away. there she is. Hey! Smoke rising from the east spells trouble. I hope the Legion isn't on the move. Nope, they've been stationary for seven years. Yep, they haven't really gone anywhere. Can you teach Delilah some basic medical care? Knowing of your positive reputation, she is eager to assist. It throws me off every time. Hooray! We have positive reputation! Treat my broken leg! <laughs> so you can ease them out of the Grand Malls with tiny doses of Fixer. I get it now. Thanks, Julie. There might be a doctor in Hidden Valley. I, there's nobody left in Hidden Valley, Mike. You don't know that? It's been a long time since you visited. Let's go visit the Brotherhood Bunker. Maybe there's someone alive in there. I don't remember where exactly it is. Okay, uh... Um, hello, Rubble Pile? Yes, I would like to see a doctor, please. No, I will not leave a voice message. Answer the phone! Alright. Whoa, look, there's one single Amy. remaining Brotherhood! Man, Constance. how did you survive? I heard we have you to thank for McNamara having a change of heart. Thank you. Y you're welcome. So, what can I do for you? You can help Delilah by showing her a thing or two about medicine. Uh, we'll bring your Brotherhood friends back from the dead. She seems to consider that a fair trade, and agrees. Just kidding, we won't actually do that. And with a little squeeze, the venom should be neutralized. Wow, thanks, Linda. Oh, she's trying to get back into her base. It's not oh. working. Hey, how about that? Hey, you need something? Your medical training has been very quick. You, you learned a lot in one day. You can say that again. I've really come a long way. You've learned a lot Thank in one so day. Thank you so much for all your help. I sure feel like a doctor now. Well, you don't look like a doctor, though. I know. I need a lab coat. I'd really like one from the followers. Do you think they would just give me one? I probably... Should I join them? They seem to be doing a lot of good for the Mojave. They're the least controversial faction out there. In that case, can we stop by the old Mormon fort when we get a chance? I'd really like to talk to Julie about signing up. And I really wish you had brought this up while we were there the first time. Yeah. Let's but, go, I guess. But we'll go now. Thanks. I can't wait. All right. Off we go. A Jackal Gang member. What is with this? A couple hostile Jackal Gang members, eh? What is with this thing? This thing? D d Keep your this? eyes for Sander Root, okay? Oh, thing floating in front of my face. What uh, is that? The, uh, follow-up for inventory. Yep. I, I don't hate it. <laughs> it's handy. It's a nice little upgrade, isn't it? Why do I have a chair? Why do I have two chairs? Hang on, hang on. They're quest items. <laughs> what? You guys are just carrying around chairs from now on. 